Good evening, folks. What if the Earth tilted 90 degrees? What would happen with the motion of the oceans? Massive tsunamis is the answer to that question. You remember the giant waves in the movie 2012, continent-sized. That's what we're talking about here. And this video will show you where those tsunamis would strike if the Earth tilts as described by the Einstein crust unlocking model which also happens to match where the actual magnetic poles are moving in the current magnetic pole shift, but I'm sure that's just a coincidence. But where such a tilt would send an inertial wave initially in the opposite direction of the tilt, followed by a sloshing back and forth that reaches higher crest heights but doesn't go as far inland. Ultimately, in that model of the Earth tilt, the Earth moves to about here where a 90-degree tilt has the former poles at the equator and India and South America near the new poles. So, let's start with how the tilt will look for 96.3% of the people watching this video. Look at Greenland up there. I'll bring it right down to the equator. It's the crust moving and the oceans aren't attached, so they're going north here initially as the land goes south due to inertia hitting every southern coastline, and yes, that includes lakes as well. After several hours of this, like a forever lasting super high tide, the earth comes to a stop and then slosh back happens. It has stopped tilting and the inertia throws the water the other way. The water is rushing back to begin with, and we get massive impacts in the opposite direction. These will be fairly devastating as well and will occur several hours after the first waves. Looking at this from the side, the axis of the tilt, it's the same concept but a bit more complex than one arrow pointing in one direction. Initially, inertia sends the wave opposite of the turn, and I wasn't sure if the circular arrow would be more helpful or several directional arrows, so I included both. Of course, after the tilt stops, the water does go back the other way, and therefore we see the arrows pointing the other way for the slosh back. Quick shout out next for goldobservers.com. They are sponsoring our documentary on the Earth disaster cycle, which is due to reset in the next 25 years. The film will come out later this year and cover things like the pole shift, the solar blast, and how we should be getting ready for it. They made this site specifically for observers to catch up with serious preppers who know that silver and gold are useful now and they are useful after the disaster. I'm going to make a video on that soon as well, but goldobservers.com. From the other axis, it looks like this. Same circular issue with the initial waves going with inertia against the turn. Alaska, Japan, Australia brutalized. And then after the tilt stops, the water comes back the other way. Everything pretty much takes another hit in the middle of the Pacific. This time, west coast of North America is included. Last but not least, side of the world where everything appears to be tilting northward. This is opposite of the first view we saw. Here the initial wave goes southward and then the slosh back sends the water northward after that tilt is complete. And by the way, that is the wave that's going to target where about 5 billion people currently live. Little tidbit, Einstein was convinced the earth tilted like this and did the math that if you could unlock the crust from the mantle, it would tilt that way, which happens to put the new north and south poles exactly where the magnetic poles are on a collision course now in the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, which Einstein could not have known. Learn more about this disaster cycle of Earth at the link below. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.